We're recording a vlog today. It's rainy out, it's nasty. And I did the mistake of throwing some stuff out last night from the garage. And now um, it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess outside. But let's, let's do it. All right, so then today, um, I wanted to record a vlog because I have a little bit of a DIY project going on at the shop. I got um, this light, this really cool um, overhead light from uh, my buddy Fernando. And I've been wanting to do something with it because it's a really good light, like it's super bright. The only issue is, is that it's big. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to um, do some kind of rigging so I can connect it to like sort of the roof or the ceiling at the shop. Hopefully that works out. Um, and then kind of talk to you guys a little bit about the last month or so. We had a very, very crazy month of like sort of the end of March, um, the entire month of April, and then the uh, a little bit of the beginning of May here. And it seems like we're just starting to get a breather here. But um, yeah, I was I was gone um, a lot. I was out of town. I got to go to Mexico. I got to go to Florida for a week. Um, not on vacation. That would have been nice, but not on vacation. Um, then uh, every other every, every Sunday in between, like I was out speaking at different churches because uh, the month of April is usually used for our um, national youth services um, in our in our district. So um, I got to go around speaking to different places. I was able to spend Easter Sunday at church, and that's it. Um, something I'm not very proud of, but my pastor understands what I was doing. He fully supports it. So. Hey, if he gives me the green light, I can go do it. So um, I, I was gone for a little bit. But the cool part um, is, is that I got to wrap up the month of April and start the month of May by speaking at my church. And I got to speak at both of our services, which is which was super awesome. And then I also got to go to Comic-Con. We did Comic-Con the last week of uh, or that, that weekend, the first weekend of May, which which just happened. Um, and it was awesome. I didn't get to have any fun. I didn't get to go around and, you know, check out all the cool stuff. I bought a couple things here and there because I always do, but nothing, nothing too crazy. I don't get to have the fun or go check out the cosplayers and do any of that stuff. I wish that would be cool, but um, we kind of stay entertained and busy there at the at the booth that we set up. Um, and in fact, I might give away some stuff. Um, okay, hmm. So today I'm at the shop and I wanted to do a quick vlog of a little DIY project that I have going on. Um, my buddy Fernando had given me a light that I had haven't been able to use because it's so big um, and it's super strong. So the plan here is to some way somehow rig this device that holds it in the ceiling so I could get sort of like an overhead light type deal. I still don't know if it's gonna look good or not so I went to Lowe's and I bought all the little fittings and everything that I think I'm gonna need so um I'm gonna try to put it together. We'll see. Essentially, that's the idea that this is gonna hang from the ceiling this way and that'll give me access to be able to stick the, the rest of the light down and give it full range of control and motion. I could even, I could even do, um, this way, that way I have more of a tilt and side to side feel, but first I want to make sure these are tight. So.
see that? You don't want that in your eyeball. So let me get some safety glasses. This is the only thing I can find, but it's either this or die, so. Better than nothing. One thing, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it has a drill setting, guy. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. The holes are done. did it all right so the structure itself is up there now all i gotta do is put the light up That looks pretty cool now i have it fully extended obviously like up here in this arm but this thing's gonna look legit once it's installed correctly and i'll do give it a touch run here in just a little bit now obviously it's not set up correctly i still gotta like tweak it a little bit there's my wall kind of the idea of what you guys are gonna see what i'm trying to go for here um but look at that look at that thing man i mean it's super legit um I got it for free. Thank you, Fernando. I'm gonna give it a test run. See what you guys think. First light test. Three, two, one. 
two, one. That is bright. That is mega bright. Might be too bright. I know, probably photographers photographers out there are going like, dude, that light is too bright. I might change the bulb. I know there's a way that I can change the bulb and change it to maybe like a white and make it a little softer. Um, well, we'll see. But this thing is legit. So this is the end product of what good lighting can do for you. This is obviously on a black background. In a little bit, I'm gonna flip it around and then that way you guys can see it on a white background. But I love it. It's cool. It looks shadowy. It looks intense. It looks cinematic a little bit. And photographers, please don't crucify me. I know it's probably not perfect. I'm gonna tinker with it. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. I might have one of my photographer's friends come over and give me a couple of tips. But that's it. A soft box, a couple of uh, pipes and stuff that I got from Lowe's. Again, thank you, Fernando. That was a quick DIY for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. My vlog. Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. I was about to hit myself with that thing. It looks like it actually happened. always ready. It's so fun. I'm like, yeah. she ran. The pose and everything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.